This is a short demonstration for how to create a Google alert. You go to google.com forward slash alerts and are presented with a screen just like this. Google alerts means that you can receive a notification whenever anything appears on the web related to a keyword or phrase of your choice. This could be a name, your own name, the name of your chief exec, the name of other board members in your organization. This could be a company name, it could be a brand name, a product name, whatever really you would like to monitor. It's great for monitoring, listening, but also in terms of feeding you with content that you may be able to use for social media. I like to set up Google Alerts for names, businesses, and also key campaigns that I might be planning to get involved with. For example, you can see on this screen an alert set up for my own name and for campaigns around Safer Internet Day, an online safety bill and National Apprenticeship Week. It can be useful when there's more than one word to put that search for the alert within speech marks so that you get the full phrase coming up in results. So let's set up a new one. For International Women's Day is coming up soon. So we can just start to type that in to the search at the top. It's starting to show content news already related to that phrase. I'm going to select options here to see how often I want to receive an alert, what language I want to receive it in, from what region. I can pick from anywhere around the world or perhaps go more local. How many results I want to receive. Do I only want the best results or all results? And where do I want that delivered? To my email address or perhaps to an RSS feed? I tend to pick depending on what the keyword or phrase is. If I need to be immediately alerted, I have it coming to my email. If it's for ongoing content, listening, awareness, then I'll send that to an RSS feed and I use Feedly. A guide to that will be in another video. I simply then click, tap, create alert, and I'll start receiving that information.